I'm at an absolute loss. My fiance and I have been together for six years. We have an amazing relationship and shortly after we got engaged, we decided to make our secret fantasy a reality. I asked my fiance if he would be willing to have a threesome, a one-off experience for us both before we get married. We both agreed to doing this and I ended up asking a friend of mine if she would be willing. We all agreed and after a lot of great communication, we worked out what we were okay with and how it would all go down. Fast forward to the night, we all had quite a bit to drink. To be honest, the whole night felt like an exciting blur. Last week, she called and dropped an absolute bombshell on us. She called me when I was at work and told me that she was pregnant. We need money. Bro, I'm we not need gonna money. Do this. We no, need you income. trying to force it, bro. I'm we not need gonna an do income. This. You're not not I ain't going to tell you to leave your man because you ain't going to listen to me. But this is what we're going to do, okay? First of all, when you leave Waffle House, you're going to take him up there to the plasma center and he's going to donate some plasma, okay? We're going to get you some money, put some gas back in your tank for, for him wasting your time. Now he's going to be weak and a little lightheaded from donating the plasma. So when you get home and he fall asleep, I want you to take all, everything he got. If he got a game, if he got an iPhone, whatever you got, baby, you're going to go up to Walmart. You're going to put anything you can in that little eco ATM shit and you're going to get you some more money. Every day he don't work, something got to go missing. Susan is that. Mm-hmm. Still selling crack in my clothes. Don't let me relapse on these hoes. No, you're not degrees. allowed to say that when the lady is sitting next to you. I, Sorry, you can only say that when CJ sitting next. Almost to you. eighty degrees today. <laughs> I want to relapse. I'm really. Yo, yo, yo. You just want to ignore what I just said. You really what you say? Ignore what I just said. What you say? You're not allowed to say that while the lady. I say it for you. Don't no. make him relapse on you hoes. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yeah, now I'm relapsing now. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm relapsing. Just troublemakers. Over here. Just troublemakers. Listen, you should say, "Don't relapse on these Joes." Hey, there you go. Now, How about that? I'm on. I'm on a straight path. Straight path. <sighs> Whatever, man. Here we go. Our, as usual, our introduction: Losa Dark Gable. You know what I mean? Sitting right. Let me put the camera on her real quick, right yes, there. Yeah, we done Sitting, up. sitting we done next to me. Up. Normally, CJ here today, yeah, but it, it's me. It's T D. No, no, spicy, honey hot dip. Oh, honey, get it right. Dip. Get it Chipotle. right. Hot habanero dip. <laughs> Jalapeno <laughs> Chipotle. You know what I'm saying? A hundred and thirty-six Scoville, Scoville, <laughs> and my man right there. Listen, I apologize. My voice sounds a little crazy. I'm a little under the weather, but you already know. Um, I do a lot. I just don't do the most. Yeah. And no, he was not really? eating no bad coochie. I was not. So, <laughs> oh, God. get that get that out of your head. I think the solar eclipse caught me. <laughs> Gave me a call. So wait, were, were you looking at it with your mouth open? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm afraid to tell my. Tell him. <laughs> he pleads the fifth. He yeah. pleads the fifth. Yeah, he is. He's looking at solar eclipse like this. <laughs> hey, like, he, got, he got the glasses on, but he ain't got nothing to cover his mouth. <laughs> that's a, that's Did you, a good you watch it yesterday? What the solar eclipse? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bought some glasses. Okay, and then the, you know, it. but you know, you see idiots driving like they're trying to look. Oh at Oh my them. lord! Oh, like yo, this boy. When I saw it, the clouds covered it, so it wasn't even nothing to see. Hey. Yeah, and my dad said he had some pictures. Some pictures for me. He said oh, he took, oh, pictures oh, he took on pictures? His phone. Yeah. He said he had the glasses on, but then he was taking the pictures with his phone. Yeah. Oh. Oh, how many solar clips have, have you have you been through? Oh man, I probably won. You remember you remember one as a child? No, one of seventy nine, they had one yeah. of ten. So that's what I'm saying. So this is my second one. Yeah. I wasn't born I was born after seventy nine. Okay. Um, <laughs> welcome to this Joint Podcast. Listen, as usual, we got a great show for y'all tonight. <laughs> we got what our up? five videos. Yes, ma'am. What, what? What? What was that for? Why are you always? I'm, I'm lying? going through the you know the introductions. So the, you know. Why are you always lying? Yeah, you know what I mean. You, so I should just poke me out. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. You was born in um. 69, yeah. Oh, so, 69, wow. <laughs> that was a good year. Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, and she owe you one. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah, right there. Wait a minute. Yeah, right wait, there. A minute. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not everybody gets 
Oh, oh shit. Should we go to the next? <laughs> yeah, so hey, as a, it was just okay for you a second ago, right? <laughs> but now, now you want to, you know, move wait, on wait, to the yeah, next topic. Let me, hold on, I don't understand. Hold on, first, let me, let me make sure I got the videos set oh, up correctly. Lord. Now, back to this young lady today. right here. I'm, I'm in the control seat today. Like Janet Jackson type of control? Control. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Control. Mm. Okay. All right. I'm I'm back. Okay. Are you done? Yes, I'm done. Okay. All right. <laughs> you know what? We're not gonna skip over that real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Before I start the video. So you mean to tell me that not everybody can get an uh, I owe you one, or everybody get an I owe you one? What are you referring to? <laughs> yeah, that's what I Mr. thought. Mr. Lost the Dark Table. <laughs> <laughs> when I said 69 and I owe you one, you said uh -huh. not everybody can oh, get no, that. Oh, no, I was saying I wasn't born in 69. Oh, oh shit. Get my mind out the gutter. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy hot habanero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, shall we kick off hey, the very first video? see how Let's I did go. that nice and smooth. Yeah, the very first video. So what we got on it? Oh, let me get my clicker, John. So. Our very first video. I'm sure everybody heard about the fresh and fit or clam, the, clam, clam, the clam. fresh... Um, alleged baby trapping conspiracy. You know what I mean? Idiot. Fresh and Fit Podcast. We had to introduce her, that to her today. So Fresh and Fit Podcast okay. host Fresh. Look, allegedly, sometimes the yes, teacher can be the student. Nothing yeah, wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Allegedly exposed in a leak call mm -hmm. of him asking his girl to get an abortion. You never ask a girl to get an abortion. You got to trick them into doing it. Really? Mm. Is that what y'all do? This your own podcast. Is that, is that is that what you how you want to teach the young men? No young you, men look at this show. Really? This is an old head show. Really? This is an old head show, man. Is, is that the truth, y'all? Are, are y'all old, old, old heads? It's probably a bunch of old heads listening. For real? Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. That's not, we're peeing out that goddamn. That's not, it's this mm -hmm. your I don't believe podcast. that. Oh. Let's go. I want the baby because I, I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing him. Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. No. Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you gonna deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby, that's all. I mean, I go to the doctor, I guess. To the doctor. So you want a abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? That's what I'm like. There's no way that that's true, but then I said, oh, wow, like. So just think about it, it's mean to be. God Sorry? wants to, God wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. It is, God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you're relate in a relate, you're fucking me for a month and you, I'm pregnant. What does that mean? Well, like it, it now, I just think about if like if you force me to kill the baby, then you're a sin. Well, we already said about having sex, but it's too late now, you know. But honestly, yeah. uh, CJ, let me ask you, bro. So, do you think he meant to get her pregnant, dog? Oh no, he didn't mean to get her pregnant. But he's one of those guys that think that because he's one of those um, like new it people on the scene, because Fresh and Fit was. You know blowing up for their viral moments and all he was uh cocky and thought he could do whatever he want and now it's coming to bite him in the, in the ass and Shoot, shooting up the club yeah like you know if you don't want no kids why would you just be hitting randoms for no protection that's dumb especially well, if you got well, money apparently she's not a random but still he's no, she's just not random being, like but he's just not being accountable that's just not being a yeah. man 
I mean, yeah, but she still random. It wasn't like somebody he was trying to be in a relationship with. She probably was on a podcast or he seen her out somewhere. She notif- noticed who he was. He used that to his advantage. He got mm-hmm. some Yamskis and now he was being irresponsible and now he got paid for it. Exactly. And that's, it's, it's, that's exactly what he get. Because my thing is, is how the hell you got a podcast platform trying to talk to people about quote unquote dating advice and being a man. But you, you can't even live up to your own words. That's just ridiculous. So wait, so now, take the man, do you think the young lady baby trapped him? Um, it's a possibility. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's been times where women have done that. I've you known oh, back Hold on, hold on, it's been times? It's been times where, <laughs> look, let's just say if it's, it's been times where if the woman had the condom, women know how to put mm-hmm. holes in condoms. Sneaky. Well, see, that's why, see, as a man, you should not be letting the woman control your condom. You know what I'm saying? You should not be letting a woman control the condom. We don't know what the dynamics were, so I, who knows? I don't know. But, but see, now, obviously, now, obviously, something was going on between them two for a month, consistently. Yeah, he was shooting up the club. But now, what came out was all these videos of him saying, "Yeah, babe, blah, 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 lovey, dovey," and almost like a girlfriend boyfriend type yeah, type so of thing. Like and next, yeah, yeah, I, I believe he did. I do too. I, yeah. I truly believe he he. So that's her. that's what he get. Yeah, but I mean, do you so, think it's about to be a happy Father's Day? Right. In a <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Time to be accountable and, and and be a man now. But why would you, why why would you announce a pregnancy when you just found out about like three? Like, it, it's not even a, a complete month yet. Well, you know, what? let me ask you. Uh, so what it, you is, mean? What, I mean, what can, do you mean? Uh, you know, what I'm saying? like she only like three or four weeks pregnant. I mean, should, should you be announcing pro- no, a pregnancy that early? No, I mean, she's I mean, anything can happen. She's saying a month. So in order to like really confirm, the, the woman knows her body. So me, I can only like really speak for me. But if she knows her body and let's just say she missed her menstrual, she got to wait yeah. at least at 28 days if that's where her cycle is. If her cycle is 28 days, she can't necessarily say that she's pregnant before that time frame. But I don't know her body. Yeah. She showed the, uh, the, the pregnancy test. Ew. Whose pregnancy test was that? I've known females that, <laughs> that, that um, knew, somebody, somebody, yeah. knew yes. that somebody that was pregnant used their urine. Hey, I'm pregnant. Watch out for me. Can you imagine? She said she knew her body. Look. When she said, oh, you went deep. I'm pregnant. That was <laughs> right. that was a pregnant stroke right there. Mm. <laughs> I mean, Damn shame. But uh, you know what? No, and it, it could be anything can be possible with that whole scenario. And I'm just like it, she pulled the religion card. Yeah, yeah. You know said, what I mean? Come on now, yeah, come on. You got to do religion, better than that. You know that she can't do that. So. Hey, what's it? It's a sin. girl. It was a sin. You sleeping with an right. unmarried? You both y'all unmarried. You took together. them pants off. It was a sin. <laughs> <laughs> so what you talking about? Yeah, but oh. he just sounds so nonchalant. Like okay, and get a pill. Like do he not know that he's saying that's not killing the baby? It is killing the baby. Maybe he just don't want that to go against his conscience. But the minute she has that a. Abortion, yes. Nah, he was trying to pull that sl- that fast one, but he ain't how to I'm do saying. it. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know how saying? you gonna he... tell her that's not killing the baby? It is. Look, I'm I'm Once gonna tell you, the embryo or it starts growing in inside the woman's womb. That listen, I'm I'm gonna tell you because I've had enough baby scares in my life. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you what he should have said. That's what he says. Uh oh, you want to teach him? You want to teach him? I, I, Fresh, I can't teach I him now. Shit. Listening. Yeah, yeah. Fresh, I, 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 hope I mean, you, you, you're probably you not. But I'm gonna run it down. What you should have said. If she said, mm-hmm. "Well, you know, I'm pregnant." He should. He should have been like, "Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, congratulations. Who's the daddy? <laughs> 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 no, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. <laughs> I'm only kidding. But what he should have said hey, was that could also be another possibility because who yeah. else is she fucking? Yeah, I mean, you know, but you know, just be true. Like, listen here, listen here, baby girl. And I mean, and you know, maybe, you know, if the child is mine, no, I don't trust you, but if the, the child day, is having, mine, having I'm going to take care of it. Sex, if that was the case, uh, any that's point, what's lead to. because who's the case? Who's to say that they that they protected themselves each time? Man, I ain't protected. That, that is, boy, that that is boy the was shooting up right. that club. That is the consequence. He was going Period. Hard Period. In the paint. Hey. Period. He was not trying to, he, from the, I think from the start, I don't think he ever he just dived right in. You know what? Raw, well, even... Raw Dog Jamal. It, oh, my God. Even in the messages, he, apparently he was sleeping with four other girls unprotected. That's trifling. Raw Dog Jamal. <laughs> See, and that's why all these women's PHBO. Oh. And then diseases and STDs and all that other crap. Let's pray. Crap. Look, it's the <laughs> truth. 
That's nasty right. ass men like that. It's nasty. <laughs> hey, what's your name? My name is Raw Dog. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, man. You want your I'll turn come. on the ride? <laughs> I'm coming to shoot up your club. No, I don't want that. That's <laughs> a dirty ride I'm right there. I'm coming to shoot up your nightclub. <laughs> See? Yeah, you know I mean, when you hear that click, click, boom. <laughs> See, like I told y'all before, that community dick is what gets. Oh, when you hear that truck. certain knock on the door, <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> you know it's the raw dog, Jamal. <laughs> raw, raw dog, Jamal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this is your podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Make sure y'all like, comment, yeah, subscribe. Man. Tell us what you think. God damn it! Oh, subscribe. Man, we are. I think we like three thousand, <coughs> almost thirty two hundred subscribers now. Hey, man. Hey, yeah, we man, that's what I'm about. Listen, man, we love y'all. Man, y'all really showing really us some love. Y'all. God damn it! Yeah, man, that's what we do. Growth. As that's I, growth. That's yeah. the growth right there. Yeah, listen, I, I even I'm grown. I'm drinking seltzer water. Yes, oh. can't y'all see he not drinking that trash yeah. like Sophistication chocolate its finest. Chocolate alcohol, beer, okay. whatever. Okay, first of all. First of all. I'm gonna need you to watch your mouth. <laughs> first of all. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm uh, and I'll put my <laughs> put your pinky up. Put my pinky Let him know it's real. Yeah, I'm saying. Let me take a oh, sip there, right sassy. Ain't that mm. what they say, sassy? No, see, wait a minute. <laughs> listen. <laughs> As I told Char before, there's nothing wrong with a man having a little bit of sass. Uh, Just a little bit. Too much of sass, you 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 in you in Diddy yeah, land. Because I don't need you, you to switch your heart at me, please. <laughs> when it comes to we want the street, my switch should be on point. Yours should be yours hey, should be harder uh, than mine. Uh, uh, his should be non-existent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If, yeah, he right, switch, look. if he got a switch, I don't look, know. you see a man switching. You just walk up to him like, "Yo, bro, let it go, bro." Mm -hmm. We no, already you know what him. you're about. Just let it go, bro. No, you walk up to him, "Hey, girlfriend." <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, hey, Anthony Mackie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, man. So we slide to the next video. Oh, Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Oh, man. Hold to get my little clicker thingy. Let me get my little clicker thingy. What we got here for the next video? So, oh, man. Video number two. Video number two. <laughs> A daughter exposes her mom for cheating on dad. She overheard the mother on the phone with her side piece. Got it. Mm. Damn. Yeah, I mean, what happened to that? It's this jump podcast. Aww. Let's go. I don't know, like, sister, you mean, like, guy boyfriend. What are you talking about? Because you are, like, over Get upstairs right now. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No. Let us finish popping. No. Go upstairs right now. You're over here happy with dad, and you literally was talking... To like some side guy. You don't need to go upstairs in right your now. bathroom. Talking about I'm, right now. I'm gonna see you next week or this week. Not yet. I'm not playing with you. Get the butt upstairs right you know now. The plans that she had, that was with a guy. Wait, no, take her upstairs. upstairs. Is this is for what? No, take I'm her here. I'm here. She's talking to me though. No, why, she's not talking. Why getting so defensive? Why do you want to indulge in that? No, why getting so defensive? Why do you want to indulge in that? Why getting so defensive? Why do you want to indulge in that? No, why getting so upset and defensive towards Lennon? Are you serious right now? Why are you so She's lying on my relationship. No. Uh, what relationship? What relationship? <laughs> Use a hoe. So if hoe. obviously she not happy with that, if she got a side joint. Yeah. What? Well, you know. Let me. Well, why do you think he was so calm? You think they broke up and they just getting back together? What do you think? I don't know. He could. He could honestly just be that type of person that okay, you know, let me hear this out first, because that little girl. I don't know. She seemed, like she, yeah, she seemed yeah. like she was up to something. She seemed like she was up to something. Because you know, like you got sometimes you got kids that be up to something and then it's like, okay, you know what? The mom probably pissed her off. And who's to say if the girl not one of them habitual liars? So if that's the case, maybe he wanna hear the hear the story first. <laughs> mom was way, oh, man, what do you think, bro? Listen, mom was way too defensive. If, if, yeah. if it wasn't like that if she serious, was lying, yeah, that I would have been like, London, listen. Go upstairs because you're about to get your head knocked off. She started spazzing from the rip. Right. And then if you watch when she start walking back towards around the counter. And the she, girl was moving. She had that face like, right. oh my God, like, oh my God. Yeah, but she also had the face like she knew she couldn't do nothing with the guy sitting right there. Because if she did, she knew that would have been basically yeah, yeah, probably her actions would have been her guilty. guilty. Yeah, her actions would have show uh, shown her 
uh, being guilty. She yeah. was guilty. So wait, yeah. and so now let me ask, let me ask you, bro. Do you think the daughter was wrong for being an adult business like that? Um, I don't know. It's fifty fifty for me because. Would I want my kids to let me know if my woman was cheating? Hell yeah, but <laughs> um, it's kind of like in the manner that it happens. Like, yeah. pull me to the side. Like, don't do it in front of... Because, again, what if they had... What if it's a teenage, you know, teenage girl going through her hormones and um, puberty and all of that, mm-hmm. and she just trying to get back her mom? So it could have been something yeah, like that. That too, but so, also yeah. at the same time, who's to say that that little girl didn't misunderstand something that she heard that she shouldn't shouldn't have been listening to? She was cheating. Personally, I think, I think, I think she was cheating. She got caught. Yeah, you know, and and you know, listen, you know, man, little girls love their daddy. Yeah, yeah they do. Let me tell. I'm trying to tell you. See, you know what I mean? Daddies could do no wrong. Would Thanks. the little girl do the same thing if the daddy had the same conversation? Mm. So or, take it to the grave, you know, hey, hey, Hold hey, on, let me hey. let me see. Do I think a peanut would give up the tapes on me? My daughter snitching. <laughs> she can't hold it. Nah, me. you know what? I don't nah. I don't know. I, I think a peanut be like, hey dad, you're getting sloppy. Oh, <laughs> Damn. <Lord. laughs> now nah, my daughter. She telling everybody, the mayor. The people at her school, <laughs> she, she don't know how to shut she up. She running tapes now. So let me tell you about my dad. He was in the house with this lady, and I'm like, yo, <laughs> chill. That's the housekeeper. <laughs> you know, she said she was coming over, and I'm like, oh, no. She, she snitching. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, Peanut surprised me sometimes, so. Y'all think that's just like a, a daughter thing? A daughter-father a daughter father thing? What about, yeah. what about you, sons? If you close to... Your sons not giving out no tapes on their dad. No. No. Sons taking that shit to the grave. Right. Mm. They taking that to the grave. Only thing they gonna do... I'm gonna tell you what sons gonna do. Sons gonna look at their dad like this. Hey, Pop. You come on. You drawing. You drawing. You drawing. I'm gonna let you get one more and then you gotta stop. Yeah, I just... Either, either, <laughs> either way, one I still felt that the little girl was a little disrespectful. <laughs> you can get one, one more pump. Oh, I'm, oh gonna, I'm gonna let you get one more in. And you gotta take your ass home. <laughs> what? Hey, I'm, nah, nah. Sons, sons are not giving up the tapes. I believe daughters give her a take for a son as well. Yeah, she still was a little disrespectful though. Yeah. Like, you know, she she needs to have some respect for her parents. Regardless of what she heard her mom say or do, she still needs to have they her parents. Yeah. And respect. But either way, she's gonna get in trouble. Exactly. As soon as dad leave the home, she's gonna get it. She would have gotten in trouble if she was pulled dad to the do, side. Do dad live there? I don't think so. The way he was sitting at the kitchen. Yeah, the, the way he was sitting yeah. I, I believe like they broke they broke yeah. up. Yeah. And they're getting back together. Possibly. And you know, kids always want their parents together. Yeah, because she was like, oh, yeah, you're supposed to be happy with dad. Yeah, you know, I mean, kids always want their parents. So, yeah. You know what I mean? I so, think, I think she she just was on front tree. She couldn't do nothing about it. <laughs> and she was trying her hardest to get London out of that damn kitchen. <laughs> you, know, you better go upstairs for I drop kick you. you By the way, did you see London like when she walked around? Yeah, she, she's like, yeah oh. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, she walked. She, yeah. Yeah. she was yeah. walking around the table because. Yeah. First of all, London still won't get it, no matter what. Yeah, she's yeah. gonna, she gonna get mad. She, she, you know what? As a matter of fact, London already got it at this point. Yeah, yeah. London, you yeah, alright? But, but I be like, I be like, you better not, you better not hit my kid. <laughs> you know what I mean? London. You don't want me, you don't want me on your top. You better not hit my child. London, you stand in this joint podcast. You stand I mean, drop a like, drop a comment. What you say, CJ? I said, London, you staying in my house tonight. Let's go. Yeah. We're going to talk about this further. Yeah, I, I mean, London, get your shit. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, give, let's give your mom some space. Yeah, give, yeah, give, give your mom some, some space. space. Some space. <laughs> oh, man, so we, oh, video number soon three? As soon as she get in the car now, what was you saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you want to go, where, where you want to go, McDonald's, Wendy's? You want yeah, some like the first 48. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. you want to eat? London's yeah. <laughs> yeah. being, London being that joint eating. You want right. some good cream on she top of the ice cream? that eating, eating a big burger bag, <laughs> giving them all the tapes, she boy. She got ice cream, water ice, she got it all. <laughs> Candy. <laughs> Let me know. All right, tell me, start from the top, London. Shit. Yeah, who else was it? <laughs> yeah, man. So video number three. Number three. Video number three. Um, how would y'all handle this? A woman is calling off her wedding because her fiance got her best friend pregnant. Mm. During a threesome. What in the? Damn, this is interesting, right? Yeah, this is It's this drum podcast. Oh. Uh, uh, wait a minute, I ain't got a set, so. Oh, see here you. Y'all wait. Stay ready, so you ain't gotta get ready. Didn't I, didn't didn't I tell you the tell last you that girl that said that end up pregnant? Oh damn! <laughs> damn it! She talk about shooting up the club. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> is the 
wildest ask uncut we have ever received. I'm at an absolute loss. My fiance and I have been together for six years. We have an amazing relationship and shortly after we got engaged, we decided to make our secret fantasy a reality. I asked my fiance if he would be willing to have a threesome, a one-off experience for us both before we get married. We both agreed to doing this and I ended up asking a friend of mine if she would be willing. We all agreed and after a lot of great communication, we worked out what we were okay with and how it would all go down. Fast forward to the night, we all had quite a bit to drink. To be honest, the whole night felt like an exciting blur. Last week, she called and dropped an absolute bombshell on us. She called me when I was at work and told me that she was pregnant. I don't even have words. Preg. Pregante. And that my fiancé is the father. I called my fiancé straight away. He said, oh, my God, I actually think the condom did break, but I was too drunk to remember or to even think about talking about it. She's decided to keep the baby. Holy shit. I know. She says, I feel really blindsided. I have no idea what to do. How do I even process this? My fiancé and I do want kids together one day, but the idea of him having a baby with another woman makes me feel sick. How do we explain this to friends and family? How do we know if this can even work? I feel so overwhelmed. I don't know. A baby by another woman, but just a mm. baby by your friend. By your best friend. Yeah, that's Yeah, you know I mean? So, uh, take them, should she leave him? Mm. But that was a mutual agreement. Yeah. But well, you know what happens, man. When you, like, when, I mean, when you, you play with a gun change. sometimes, you get shot. The dynamics are going to change between those friends. I guarantee you. They're not going to be friends for long. But should sad. it? <laughs> but should it? Should what? I mean, they all agreed to, you know, yeah, to do but the now, threesome. Now, now a baby is involved. This is why you have your freaky episodes with people that you do not know. Right. I would I would not Go have to done that. Island and get your freak on. I mean, hopefully there would be no baby involved, but at least it's somebody that you probably ain't never going to see again. Mm -hmm. yeah, don't get it's me too, wrong. Like, too, them having easy. alcohol. Yeah. It's too easy to, for that to, ha to happen. It's your friend, like, again, because then the trust factor is too too high. Because you know this my person. my thing is I'm going to think, okay, you know what, now you're going to keep doing it with him or her or not or even that. Just the fact that, like, <clears throat> if it was a stranger... You thinking about different stuff. You even if you drunk, you kind of like, all right. Well, I ain't gonna just run up in her. Oh, I don't know her. You know, yeah, that stuff be on your mind. Yeah, but which your, is why they introduced alcohol. To your, but but, but they, he did say they had a, they had a condom on. And I know, but, but when you when it's a stranger, you thinking more. You thinking more, even more when you drunk, you more cautious with it. Okay, this was so her friend. Much, so he was already like, comfortable. He probably already knew the friend. I wouldn't have did that. Listen, I've had a rendezvous or two in my day. Yeah. So. So what? Uh, Papa was a roller. Is Papa still a rolling stone? Papa was a rolling stone. Ben stops. That's the one. He's a boulder. He, now, he, he said home. a boulder. <laughs> <laughs> so wait. So see, Dave. Let me ask you though. What would you do in a situation like that if you was a guy? I mean, nothing I could do if she gonna have it. Like nothing I could do. I mean, we all it was all consenting. So what? I wasn't. It wasn't no deceit. So it's just True. like, all right, now I got this kid, and me and her gonna either have to go to therapy. To get through it, or she probably going, you know, go a separate way. I'm not not taking care of my kid, but yeah, it is what it is. So you either you gonna walk this journey with me, or unfortunately you got to go our separate way because I'm not 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 taking care of yeah. my kid. Hey, look, look you gonna walk this journey with me? Or I'm gonna get with your girlfriend. Hey, that, damn! I mean, because I'm gonna put my day, family together. Yeah, because now at hey, the end Michelle. of the day, now he's going to have to like really learn this friend on a more personal level. Me personally, I would not want to have something like that with somebody that I know. And then number yeah. two, you know what? Let's just turn the lights off. I don't even want to see who the hell you are. Like, just, <laughs> <laughs> let's just, let's look. Let's just do the thing. Get it, the get lights. it done and over with. I ain't got to see your face. <laughs> like, you My ain't got to see mine. <laughs> let's just enjoy the moment. And then look, by the time I wake up, you going. Yeah, it like, like, like this. Play like this. Hold on, cut that light back on. You ain't my man. That was too big. No. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. oh, what's good, bro? Ski. That's a different, that's a difficult situation. Yeah, yeah it is. It's, um, I mean, it's kind of. You know, as a female, because you know, females, of course, are emotional. So, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to mm -hmm. separate the emotion of, okay, yeah, this is my friend. And then at some point, the girl who's the fiance is probably going to start to think, you know, that she's being betrayed at some point when it really isn't betrayal. It's just him doing his job yeah. as a father or, now. Or, 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 or even the, the, the trust factor. I mean, 
Would you be able to trust your friend? Or not even to be true? Yeah, but just, why not? Like, I mean, the friend didn't do anything wrong. But not even to be true. Just the fact that, you know, having a baby is a very intimate thing. If you're if you're yeah. if you're the type of guy that's, you know, want to be involved and also like when my when my kids was born, like I'm there with their mother. I'm, you know, sitting there with her where she got contractions or, mm-hmm. you know, you running out getting her the weird food at two o'clock in the morning and all. So you're doing all that stuff. And it just builds intimacy because it's like, damn, you going through this and I can't really do nothing for you because, you know, you're the one carrying it. So, like, yeah, so that's going to be the tough part. When Especially for her because I bet she's thinking, oh, well, uh, they're going to get together. Yeah, so like, You know what I mean? They're going to wind up hooking up. Or just the fact that right. he, he got to go. <laughs> just the fact that he got to go there. Like, uh, she need whatever. What is it? Lamaze class or something or whatever. He got to go with her. Right. Yeah. His baby. So he got to go to doctor's appointments. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, she's going to at some point get to the point where she's going to feel like she's being betrayed to a point. But, but it's not really betrayal. Y'all all came to an agreement to do yep. this. And yeah. just like with, with any sex with anybody else, there's always going to be consequences at some point. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just maybe what they probably should have incorporated into that scenario was swallowing both of them. Hello, both of them take a plan B the next day. That way they didn't have to worry about that. She swallowed it. Have you ever? No matter, sw- just don't bite it. <laughs> have, you really? ever, have you ever been swallowed? <laughs> have you ever, have you ever swallowed? been swallowed? I'm, I'm, I'm just curious. He said he was too drunk. To say something when the condom broke. He knew that damn condom broke. He, right. he so was in there the He knew the condom. Listen. I'm really in Michelle now. <laughs> so so the question is, is did he, did he want her from the beginning? <laughs> he probably did. Oh. Listen. Did he want her from the beginning? Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Damn it. Listen. Uh, yeah. Give it the dough, T. Duh. Hot Javier over there, y'all. <laughs> Hot Javier over there. Listen. That's where, like me, if I had a girl and her friend was bad, no, <coughs> no, <laughs> CJ, no, 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 I'm not. Now, if you want to give me precious over here, we could try this. <laughs> but no, if that's like this, I know your girl's. Listen, let me tell you I something. don't want her. Mm-mm. Let me tell you something. I can't control myself. Tell you and I know, I know all men has probably experienced. Oh. Uh, when you when you going ham on a girl, you, sometimes you be like, I'm trying to break this condom because I don't want a guy. I'm going ham. If you say no, you're a GD liar. Yo, dang it, tell him. You're a damn liar. Come on, man. Come on, man. Right there. If you are a goddamn liar. If you are, listen. I'm trying to tell you. Listen, if yes, you are, you going ham if you are, trying to break that joke. If you are our age, 35 <laughs> and up. There is at least one time in your life before where you was in there trying to get as much friction as possible <laughs> to make that thing pop. Because you so want you could have a baby. So you know you could feel the no, real thing. so you can feel the guts. Yeah, the, 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 well, the baby sometimes that's just you didn't know you, you, you didn't want you're that trying part. to feel them. Yes, you trying to, you gotta get up in them. Guts. You trying to feel them smooth, Y'all creamy walls. <laughs> that's all Y'all you trying to get to. Yep. Yeah. Wow. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't do so that. You're yes. trying to do every week. Yes. So you know when you open that door, you like especially man. especially when you get a, a a woman that you've been trying to get for the longest. You didn't court it. You didn't pursue. You might even trick a little bit. You just doing whatever. You trying to get her attention, and finally she drop her guard and say, "You know what? Come on, let's go out." And then you sitting there, you at the restaurant or whatever, mm-hmm. and she give you that little smile, a little bite the lip, or she take her <laughs> hand and she rub it, rub your hand, take your hand and rub it against her thigh, or you in that car. And she kind of like open her legs, a little spread, a little eagle, a little bit. You start touching on that inner thigh, and you know it's coming. You say, "Ooh, I'm tonight. I'm, I'm going right through this one tonight." You gonna pick? You gonna try to find one of the older ones you got? Oh my you god! Looking at the date. <laughs> okay, this one say the 2022. One yeah, I'm, I'm, a, yep. oh, yeah a, I'm going. Hey, I'm going hard, man. You grab the smallest rubber yep. you got, boy. You go ham to that jaw go. Mm-hmm. And then you like, oh, there it is. If you did not do that, you're a liar. If you if you saying you didn't do that, you're a liar. I, I swear. You you ever we just we just we just we just tell, t- we just, we just tell you how men think. You ever purposely put a hole in the condom? No. Nah. Oh, okay. Nah, but you purposely try to pop it. Mm-hmm. You just wow. go boo 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 like uh, what's that uh, a <laughs> little Uzi? Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> you try your heart for that thing to just and you know and you know when it pop when it pop because it all of a sudden 
that sensation on the uh, on those nerves, it get different. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't got through it. I didn't got through it. I'm not to, listen, we just trying to tell you how us men think. Yeah, okay. we just telling you the truth. I, I hear y'all. Like I yeah. said, I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm the student tonight. Y'all teach me a lot. Hey, we're trying to teach Miss Hot Hopper Hero. Listen, it happens. It happens. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so that's why I say that. I call BS on him. Yeah, him. He was too drunk. So no, that no. motherfucker. He he knew he that was shit. Trying to hit Michelle he wasn't that drunk. For him to even mention it, he knew. He was trying to hit Michelle for the long. Yeah, for the long. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. his wife finally cracked it. Right. Like, Ooh, tonight's the night. Like Betty Wright. <laughs> it's on. Yep. He like, I can crack that egg. Yes. Now I mean, this John podcast. This John podcast. God damn! Drop a like. Drop a if comment. I'm, if, I'm, if I'm engaged, I don't. I don't want to have. Sex with none of my, my nah, you know, men's nah. friends. It's like, no, nah, that's like, good. I'm happy like, you don't. At the end of the day, it's like, okay, y'all still friends. I don't want anything to happen between the two of y'all. And then I still got to see your, see your friend at events and parties or gatherings and stuff. No, that's just weird. Listen, <laughs> that ain't weird for you. That's weird. That ain't weird for me, goddammit. <laughs> What did uh, I'm what, what did, talking about, hey, when we going to do what we did? What did my man Robert Last Kelly week. say? Keep it on a down low. <laughs> Nobody has to know. <laughs> you gonna keep this triangle going. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Oh, man. So we started video number four. Let's what go. We got video number four. What we got? What we got? So we got video number four. We got a woman that goes off on her boyfriend for not wanting a minimum wage, minimum wage job, but he has no income. Uh, boy, you gotta love him. What do Wallow call him? Uh, couch warriors. Oh, let's go from couch to couch. <laughs> couch hobo sexual. Yeah, hobo sexual. It's this yeah. podcast. Oh, let's go. We need money, bro. I'm we not need gonna money. Do it. We no, need you income. Trying to force it, bro. I'm we not need an income. You're not. Gonna... I ain't gonna tell you to leave your man because you ain't gonna listen to me. But this is what we're gonna do, okay? First of all, when you leave Waffle House, you're going to take him up there to the plasma center and he's going to donate some plasma, okay? We're going to get you some money, put some gas back in your tank for, for him wasting your time. Now he's going to be weak and a little lightheaded from donating the plasma. So when you get home and he fall asleep, I want you to take all, everything he got. If he got a game, if he got an iPhone, whatever you got, baby, you're going to go up to Walmart. You're going to put anything you can in that little eco ATM shit and you're going to get you some more money. Every day he don't work, something got to go missing. Something going to the pawn shop, something going missing, okay? The three pairs of jeans he already got, go ahead, take them. Sell them to somebody. Put it on Facebook Marketplace. Get your money, okay? Get your money. Because he don't need, what, what do you need that for? If he not leaving the house to go to work, there's no reason for him to leave the house at all. Make sure you take his shoes, too. All of them. Matter of fact, that's the first thing you need to take is his shoes. The only shoes and the only outfit that need to be left in that house is some non slip shoes and some some um maybe some black pants or some khakis, you know, something he could wear to a job interview. OK, and the only other outfits he going to have up in that bitch is the uniform they give him, whatever the fuck he need to work at. But no, on a serious note, though, for real, for real, for real, he already baby daddy. He already baby daddy. And I just want to let you know. Whatever your reasons are for keeping him, he's going to drag you down and he's just going to make your life harder. You eventually are going to realize that you're not raising one child, you're raising two, but you're going to you're going to realize like, damn, I had this baby with him and he don't even want to help me take care of this baby. And the more you go through motherhood and realize how much you're sacrificing for your child while watching the person who helped you create that child totally not give a fuck about even helping you to be better at supporting that child all by yourself, the more miserable you're going to be. But you're going to realize you wasted so much time and he was holding you back. Whatever struggle you think you're going to have when he gone, I guarantee you, you're only blocking your blessings, keeping him around. But because you keep him around, whatever blessings are in store, whatever help that you could be receiving, it can't be given to you because he's in the way and he's going to fumble it. He will make you lose everything great that you have. Because even if you do manage to elevate with him on your hip, he will eventually become jealous of you. He will become very jealous and resentful and hateful of you and he will begin to sabotage shit for you. So the better you get, the worse he's going to get. You you will never inspire him to be anybody. You He will never grow. You can never force him to be who you got this image of him to be. You can only replace him and hope that maybe he feels so sad and guilty about not taking care of his child that he step up and be there for his child in the future. But as long as you're supporting him, he's, he's never going to step up and be anything for that child. So you are doing both of y'all a disservice. 
Okay. Yeah. But yeah, by the time he would have been done with me, oh, he would have been begging for a job at Waffle House or McDonald's because that was going to be the only time he ever got food put in his stomach. He was going to be starving, dirty, and getting abused at home. So I don't know. I think you need to put your foot down if you is going to keep him. Sometimes some, some dudes really do just like a mean, aggressive woman. And you have to like treat them like their mama would. So if you're going to be his mama, be his mama. Whoop his ass and make him get a job. He don't look like he could fight, sis. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> she said, "Be his ass." Yeah, but but that was ether. I oh think God. I think that was a reaction from ether. experience. I believe she lived that. Yeah. Definitely. She, she, that Definitely. was just too clear for her. Yeah. First of all, I ain't, I ain't keeping no man. Nope, nope. I can raise my child on my own. I don't need to be raising my baby or our baby and you too. Sometimes so, they got to separate in order for them guys to grow. I just don't understand how women, like, what makes you want to be with a hobosexual? Like, I yeah, don't, seriously. I just don't understand. I don't get it. it. Like, you know what it is? I, I think, I think it's that, that itch that they believe that be they needed? can change this man. No. no. You know what I'm saying? Is a bum. No, so. I'm saying, I don't know why girls feel like they can change a guy. Like, that, that has to with a, a lot, the mindset of a lot of females. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, he got potential. So, you know what? Let me, it's but, nothing wrong but, with you pushing your man to but, help him elevate, but you can't make him change. But here's the thing the thing about change is you have to see change. So, if like you, you were saying, you got to see that potential. Yeah, so, like, if you didn't, if you didn't, you know, wrote his resume, but he not going to go fill out no job applications, that's all you need to see. If you didn't right. bore him clothes to go to the interview, but he don't go, that's all you need to see. How many times you need to see that? Right. It's just like if he doesn't show you he wants to change. Now, I'm not. I'm not a, a proponent of like not supporting a man because giving up on stuff him. happens. Like yeah. you know, yeah. people are neglected in life. They just don't know. There's a lot of people walking around here that's just ignorant. And sometimes and, people and get they just don't know. A sense of depression so it's like too. at the end of the day, like you can help a man, but. You have to see him changing. But like, he has to help himself. That's, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if he's not doing anything, like, there's no way in the world you should tell a man to get a job. And he's saying, well, I don't want a minimum wage job when he doesn't have a job. Uh, now, again, that if he's, baby period. should if he's be trying his to hustle, motivation to want to do better. If he's like, trying to hustle and do other things, then okay, maybe he don't want the minimum wage job. But you got to show me something. Yep, and something. I just don't understand why women just allow these homosexuals to just... The, the thing that gets me as a man, <clears throat> excuse me, as a man, I know when I was a young man, I hated not having money in so my pocket. Did I. So did I. I don't care if it was <clears throat> $10 or $100. I had to have some sort of money in my pocket. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I listen, I would work the odd jobs. So would I. You know what I'm saying? Cleaning, washing dishes, mm -hmm. um, cleaning stock rooms, you know what I mean? Stocking shit. Because I wanted money in my pocket. Right. But it seems like the, this generation now, what, what are they called? The millennials? Yeah. Is, millennials. That, is, that, is that what they yeah, are? No, they Gen said. Z's. They Gen, Gen Z's. Gen Z's? Yeah. The Gen Z's now, they don't, everything has to be handed They're to entitled. Them. They have the sense of everything entitled. Got to get, I don't care if it's government assistance, a government check, or they just got to take that shit, or they just got to rob you. Who's supposed to, who's supposed to take care of us when we, when we're elderly? Oh, psh, man. I guess we got to take care of ourselves. Oh, ourselves. Lord have mercy. Boy. Everybody's going to be rappers. That's what it is. Uh, <laughs> And and influencers. Every everybody oh, yeah. wanna you know, see, we do this YouTube shit for the for the love of it. Facts. But a lot of them they just they oh, think oh, they're I gonna think be, I'm gonna like, make, go make it I'm gonna make it big. Yeah. They think I'm, they're gonna I'm gonna trying make to be rich by the end of the year. They think they're gonna be millionaires by December. Yeah. Like, okay, let me keep pushing this video so I can go viral. Yeah, and then we'll lose their mind if they don't go viral. Right. They'll try to they'll try to top the most stupidest shit. Well, I did something stupid last month. That didn't work. So I got to do something stupid this month. And live on social media. I grill. seen a little boy. He was 14. He was on South Beach. These people were playing volleyball, minding their business. The person hit the ball. It fell onto the ground. He comes, picks it up, and start running. So they start chasing him. Man, what you doing? This little boy is cursing these people out. <laughs> Get the F out of here, you effing. What? I mean, cursing the lady out. F and B. What? And I'm just like, he 14. Wow. And he has all these subscribers because he's on one of those like Twitch or oh, whatever. So he's getting he's live good. streaming it, but oh, he's just wow. doing. He's talking to another influencer. He's like, "F out of here, you a B, you a B, you ain't gonna do nothing." I smack it. I smack the S out of you. And I'm but just you like, know what? Them kids where's his, his age mom? is yeah. them kids his age is probably getting a laugh out of yeah, it, and that's everything is funny to them. Yep. Just yep. somebody smack fire out of him. You're yep. ignorant. Hey, Snatch my ball. See what happens. <laughs> I'm funny.
fucking you up on say. <laughs> yeah, but it's like they just live Listen on social man. media. You wake up, you wake up on social media. Hold you go to sleep on social media. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. How do you just not want a job? It, so wait a minute. Um, was somebody was his cameraman? Did he have a cameraman yeah. or he had a camera phone? He has a cameraman. So the cameraman is watching him yeah. do all of this. And he actually has a security guard all right. that oh, wow. runs all right. around with him. See, that's where they fucked up. Because as as me, you gotta teach as a person, or you if you snatch my ball and run with it, I'm not chasing you. I'm gonna fuck up your camera, man. <laughs> they all kids. <laughs> So, no, but I'm saying that's what the one lady did. Yeah. She, went, she smacked the camera out his out his head. Yeah. I'm choking the shit out of your camera, man. Well, I don't blame her because I probably would have <laughs> did the same thing. But yeah, you know what? These kids is disrespectful. They don't have they are. respect for adults. So they at the are. end of the day, it's like you know what? Is the ball even that deep for this child to even try to you know hit me? But, because you know that at the end of the day, that's probably what they would have tried to do. Would try to like hit her. But that's why I don't. That's why I don't believe in giving my children all that stuff. Yeah, you're nah, not you get, you don't, you're not gonna have a TV, you have, you a gotta tablet, earn a PlayStation. It, it is no, you want to earn some stuff. If I come in here in this room not clean, guess what? No, you don't get no snack. It is mm. what it is. You know, you know how to get a. My mom did the same thing with me. She knew that I hated doing the dishes, and she said, "CJ, I'll give you allowance if you do the dishes." <laughs> guess who ass is broke until you get a job? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm gonna need to bust them. Yeah, you got you got to show that you want to work. So I never forget that lesson because yeah, my whole life I've been. Going to New York, Delaware. I find a job anywhere, wherever that money yeah. is. I'm gonna go get it. So these kids are just weird that they they think that they supposed to make a million dollars a month working two hours a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't, they, bare bare minimum. Yeah, bare minimum. They don't want to work. Mm -hmm. They don't want to work. Crazy. You know, I made this your podcast. Y'all drop a like, drop a comment. Be kind of like right now, the, the, the labor market is horrible right now because it's like it's hard for them. Any other for these employers to uh, fill these positions because none nobody of these, wants to work. I know these kids don't want to work. Maybe maybe they can sell some butt. Whoa. <laughs> they can they can grow up to be like be on OnlyFans. Yeah, be on Only. Well, shit, that's what half of them gonna grow up to be on anyway. Exactly, but still, yeah, how, do, I mean, how, how does that help the economy though? Like really? That's why all them immigrants. Uh, you know, I don't know, man. When they I don't. listen, man. I, <laughs> I'm not a goddamn financial major. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just your podcast, y'all. Drop a like, drop a comment. Podcast. Yeah, I mean, what we, oh, so we got, we got number five. Number five. number five. Number five. So we got number five. A woman, you know, a couple of times. So I'm going to change it. I'm not going to say a woman says. I'm going to say Nene Leak says she can deal with a respectful cheating <laughs> Cause what you don't know won't hurt you. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Go ahead and play. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of cheating. You know what? A little bit of cheating. Keep the spice in your life. Okay. Let a woman it's cheat on you, and let's see what the hell you say. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm killing that bitch. See? See? <laughs> <laughs> now respectful cheating, I could deal with that. You can. I might. Yeah, because see, look, if I'm here in Georgia and you went to San Francisco for the, I'm just saying, I'm saying any city. I'm saying if he went to New York for the weekend, okay, go ahead, go ahead. what I don't, what you don't know, won't hurt you. It won't hurt you. However, if you're going to cheat, you need to do it with respect. Now you yes. do. You do need. I don't like people who are not respectful. So these are the ones that aren't respectful. Yeah. They're talking to the side piece and lying to them. First of all, you already lied to whoever this is on the side. So if you're gonna be respectful, you first you tell that person you give me fifty feet on my woman. <laughs> like, don't ever approach me when you see me with my woman. So oh, that's no the rule. Number one, you can never approach. I can imagine somebody approaching me. It would just be like what? <laughs> <laughs> Who are? You know what? Listen, take some. She is a professional get cheated on. Mm. Her. <laughs> She's annoying. So now. She just like made my whole stomach. You know, I, She's too old to be like do the stuff that she does. Uh, She's way too old to be so childish. Uh, to the thing where are they say all men cheat? No. No, not all men cheat. But also it sounds like she just has no standards. As a former member of the CNAA. Oh, okay. Uh, that's the Cheater Negroes Association of America. <laughs> Uh, I was a, a high-ranking member. <laughs> and, um, you sure he was a president? president? <laughs> <laughs> and not only the player. I don't, what did Biggie say? I forget. But anyway, 
um, as a member of that society for a good amount of time. <laughs> um, I can say that at that time, I would have definitely took that. Yes. If I could respect them. Hey, what they say? What they, what, they, what they don't know won't hurt them. And so, but now it's like, at the end of the day, like you said, where's the standard? Like, you, like you got, you somebody's daughter. Like, you, would you want some, would you want somebody, somebody do that to your mother? Right. Like, it's yeah. just weird. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, just be up front. Hey, this is what I'm doing. You either get the yes or the no. Right. But it's like you raising two sons. So you just want your sons to be cheaters? Respectful cheaters? True. Like, it's just weird. True. Like, don't I, I would with her, like with her following, why would you? It, to me, it, it sounds like, because again, in my opinion, I think she married uh, Greg because he had bread. I think he got her out the strip oh, yeah. club. Yeah. So it's like, when you when you marrying people with ill intent, you got to put up with the stuff that they bring. Because yeah. you know for a fact that you ain't in this with your heart. Right. Nah, so to yeah, me, it's well, like. It's, financial so yes. they bought a financial game. yeah so it's like yeah of course you're yeah. gonna believe that because you know at the end of the day what i always talk about the marketplace the type of guys mm -hmm. that she's mm -hmm. trying to get don't want her 50 something year old ass mm. they don't she 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 hit that wall <laughs> i mean but T, let me ask you see, is there mm -hmm. such thing as respectful cheating in my opinion, no, because my thing is, if, How I'm, can in you a, cheat with I'm, in a, if I'm in a relationship and we are exclusive, I'm for you, you for me. Why the hell do you, why do you feel the need to venture off out of our relationship, out of our, our trust bubble? If that's what you want to do, stay single. I, I and just, just a little cookie on the side. What? Yeah, just a little bit. It ain't no one little cookie. What, what did 50 say? Damn, baby, all I need just really? a little bit. Just, just for all that you know what just leave me the hell alone because or right. just stay single like ain't no such thing as like if you want to cheat just it's no point yeah. it just is no point like if you want to have multiple people it's no point in telling somebody look 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 i want to be in a relationship with you because you know what comes with relationships because right. the minute you start cheating then the trust goes away so then it's like okay now the, okay. the, the relationship is going away hmm. because now I don't, I don't believe nothing you say i mean well you know a man of high standards, you know, high class, high earning men have options. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, we got a lot of options. You know what I mean? We have a lot of, you know. A lot and why of, don't the, the men that, that that's not of such high stature have options? They have options too. They don't. Well, the, they options is the they ain't the right options. It's still <laughs> options, but they don't want those it's options. Still, it's still options, <laughs> yeah. no matter what. It's still options, but they don't want them. So it's like I don't want those options. They're not. I guarantee. I, who said it? I don't know if it was Chris Rock or somebody said a man is only as, as faithful as his options. And I believe that I have some people yeah. that I know who are men who are not in good shape or in good health or not, you know, appeasing to the eye. And I see the women that they mess with. And it's basically because that's the women that they can get. They got money. They feel like they can settle for it. Yeah, so because, basically they settle. Because I, I always say it like this. All right, just take the average woman from Philadelphia. It'll be just beautiful woman, right? Cool. If you had the option, no money involved, no nothing, and I mean, they said, or right, you could take, you know, Janine from Southwest, or you could get Rihanna. You it's know, going to. It's a, you it's know a where no, going. It's a no brainer. <laughs> it's a no brainer because just just who she is. So it's like, yeah, men are unless you um, until you have self control. You are as faithful yeah. as your options. Once you start getting self control and you start thinking about it, like, all right, again, that whole peace thing. I don't want to cheat because I don't want just yeah, keeping gotta, up with it and all. With all the story. I don't yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's, yes. that's annoying. That's it is tiring. Yes, it's annoying. It's tiring. So it's like, yeah, once you get to that point where you over that. And look, and don't deal with a chick like me because I remember everything. I'll be like, oh, oh no, you God. said at 157. Damn. <laughs> Not 159, 157. Yeah, <laughs> remember, remember nine years ago when you said you were going to do this, 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 this God damn it, this, this, my, that. My memory is on a beam. Fellas, I'll, I'll <laughs> always write your stuff down in your voice notes. <laughs> See, there's no need to write anything down if you're telling the truth. If you're telling the truth, you can remember the same story today. 10 years from now no there is no forgetting because i can remember something that happened to me eight years that's from you now. what i got bad memory <laughs> i'll be forgetting stuff that happened last week <laughs> so to me it's like oh uh, let me write this down i ain't trying to get it <laughs> <laughs> oh man this your podcast y'all yeah make sure you drop a like drop a comment so no such thing as respectful cheating okay uh, 
as no, she Moral told, she told her, us what she think. Get your cheat on. Yeah, I'm saying. Get your cheat <laughs> Oh, man. Listen, we want to thank y'all for Wait joining us tonight. No, don't listen to him because he's delivered. Remember? Oh, yes. He's delivered. Oh, the that's, tea. yeah. He's not part delivered of the, the, the tea. I told you I'm not in the CNA. <laughs> yeah. The cheating so you should not be promoting that. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I'll, I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, Stay faithful. But anyway, anywho. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank y'all for joining us tonight. If we you enjoyed the show, it. make sure you drop a like, drop a share, and subscribe. Subscribe. For more awesome content. We yeah, appreciate this joint staff. Yeah, you know I'm saying Peanut, take us Peanut. home. Man. It's this joint podcast. Oh, <laughs> we out.